You're listening to Legally Bliss Conversations. This podcast reclaims and rewrites the stories female attorneys have been told about how we should practice law, grow our businesses, treat our clients, treat ourselves, and craft our identities as female attorneys. We'll hear inspiring stories from current and former female attorneys, the ones who question the stories they've been told, the ones who aren't afraid to live boldly and step into their own power. We'll learn from women who define success on their terms. Through lighthearted and curious conversation, we'll unpack the challenges these inspiring female attorneys have already navigated. So join me on this journey. You'll be empowered and ready to rewrite a completely new story about what is possible for you. Hey there, I'd like to welcome everyone to Legally Blissed Conversations and a special welcome today to Jamie Coles. Jamie is a graduate of Chase College of Law and NKU Health College of Business alumni. Jamie has a passion for learning, teaching, and the law. She has applied her degrees in both legal and marketing daily in her project manager role with Get Noticed, Get Found, also GNGF. Her dedication to education is constantly on display as an instructor at the Legal Marketing Academy by GNGF, where she shares that knowledge with other legal professionals. Jamie's well-rounded knowledge of the legal profession comes from her time working in the offices of law firms, large and small, before becoming a project manager at GNGF. An expert bridge between marketing and law practices, Jamie acts as an essential link between these two worlds for her clients at GNGF. Welcome again, Jamie. And I also want to note that you played Division I volleyball at North Kentucky. And I think that's really cool. I, um, I, I love seeing women who are playing amazing sports like that. Tell me a little bit about um, you and your journey and why you decided to go to law school. Yeah, so really law school kind of started out as like a thing that I always kind of wanted to do, but I was better at math and science, you know, like, so I ended up like entering college with uh, the intention of going into the engineering route because I always had better grades in math and science, but I got there and I'm like, Oh, I don't like this at all. (laughs) So I entered business because you could kind of stay undeclared for a little bit longer. And I took a business law class and that kind of like solidified that what I was thinking was right all along. So uh, that kind of pushed me in the direction of law. And after like towards my senior year of business school, I decided to 